municipality revenues will reach $61 billion in 2022, Artillery reports. Yet, this isn't simply a tale of numbers and adoption. Jeremy Balinson, a professor of communications and founding director of Stanford's Virtual Human Interaction Lab, has stated that these technologies have significant psychological and social ramifications. Once a person steps inside a virtual world, things change. VR, virtual reality, takes all the gadgets away. It takes all the multitasking away, and you actually feel like you're with someone. We call this social presence. You see their emotions, you see their gestures, and it feels just like you're in the room with them. It takes what is typically seen as something that's unemotional and distant and makes it feel like somebody's right there with you. It's impossible to argue with Balenson's conclusion. When I strap on an Oculus Go headset, reality is transformed. I can tour the canals of Venice, Italy, and turn my head to view things, boats, people, and buildings, as if I actually am taking a gondola ride. I can step aboard the International Space Station, learn about the different modules and equipment, and view the Earth below. I can drop into fantasy worlds and games, and even feel as though I'm on the court during a professional basketball game. It's possible to watch LeBron James dunk or Stephen Curry throw down a three-point shot as if I were actually there. Even the most advanced television delivering an ultra-high-definition experience cannot duplicate the feeling. AR glasses also transform the way I see the world. I receive data and information in visual and auditory formats that are more useful, more contextual, and more refined than any laptop or smartphone can deliver. Suddenly, it's possible to view a video that shows how to install a light switch while I'm actually installing the light switch. With both hands free, the task is much easier. There's no switching back and forth between a video playing on my smartphone and tinkering with the physical light switch while juggling tools. This explains why architects, engineers, scientists, insurance agents, and countless others have begun to use artificial reality glasses to tackle a vast array of tasks. There's also mixed reality which refers to a world somewhere between virtual and augmented reality. In this space, a head-mounted display projects a virtual world but includes actual physical objects in the virtual experience, or it changes those physical objects into different things, which is what takes place inside the void. A plane door in the holodeck becomes an elaborate control panel for entering a spaceship. A rail or seat that actually exists in the room, appears in the virtual world. Essentially, real-world objects and virtual objects appear together in a mixed reality. Haptics technologies, which intersect with virtual and augmented reality, ratchet up capabilities further. At a technology showcase presented by the global professional services firm Accenture in San Francisco in early 2018, I donned state-of-the-art Haptics gloves along with an HTC Vive headset. The Haptics gloves were large and a bit clunky. They look like a robotic hand, but once I ventured into the virtual space, the gloves became invisible. Suddenly I could feel objects, including animals, shafts of wheat, and clouds. When I poked a cloud with a finger, I could feel raindrops. When I picked up a rock, I could feel the shape and texture. Venturing inside this odd animated world was unlike anything I have experienced before. Although various forms of virtual and augmented reality have appeared in books and films for a few decades, the vision of how they will play out is also evolving. In 2018, Steven Spielberg released the film Ready Player One. Set in the year 2045, human life on Earth is threatened by severe climate change, which has unleashed a global energy.